Hello, Salaam Alaikum friends. Welcome back to my new tutorial of our TIA portal. So, in this video, we are going to discuss about the for to do loop in SCL language. So, let's see how I am going to do use a for loop. So, first of all, we need to create some. Uh, first, we need a start. Then, we need a value tag, which is I think need in an integer and another we need an output and i'm going to name it array like that and array now i'm going to select it from 0 to 9 so what we use for for to do for to do loop is used for like uh, in range if we use anything for in range like that mm -hmm. anything we use for in range now i'm going to show you how it is working as an in range i'm going to select a value and we need to select a value from 0 to 9 like that and what we need to do from our for loop we are going to select an array there and we need uh, value we don't I think we don't need to define a value I'm going to just make it like uh, one and I'm going to compile that slightly I think something is missing we need to check in the sentence and valid we need we can change it like that and I'm again compiling it let's now we are going to directly move a value there check that now now I think our block has been compiled and our value is now ready now what we need we need to move that FC to our main start as a start value I'm taking MW4 and we need an output array for that and I'm going to select the block and again an array I'm going to select that an array like that and we also select that from 0 to 9 like that I think everything is fine I'm going to move a data block now I'm going to check our loop so let's see I'm going to reinitialize that load that so so you will see it will true I am going to make it uh, 0 check that and I am going to open my array and it's all work as a true stop that and run that now I think we need to check you will see all is false if I am going to make that true We'll see that's all is going to do if I'm going to change it to false then it will I think not going to false so it will select everything is in range so I'm just uh, doing a simple change to check something so you will see what is our programming is from 0 to 9 then it will move everything to 1 like it will make every one from 0 to 9 to true but so what if again if I am changed from 0 to 50 and I am going to compile that and again compiling that one also and uh,
we need to change also in our F6 from 0 to 50. So let's see. I'm going to update my block curve. So what we said? We said that from 0 to 9. So what if uh, what if we what are gonna have to above 9? So let's see. I am going to again download that into my PLC. Initialize that. I am going online. And I am going to make it to. So let's see. It will true only on only 9 to 10 elements. But if it is uh, the, those who are not in range, like if I am going to make it from 0 to 12, I am going to compile that. Compile that one also, download into my PLC. Again, online, true. And you will see, it will make only 12 to rather than all that. So that's how for to do loop work in uh, SCL language in TIA portal. So thank you very much for watch my video. Please subscribe my channel, like my video, click the bell icon and uh, don't forget to comment uh, and uh, watch uh, my uh, other lectures on factory IO uh, practice and uh, Ignition SCADA, Indosoft SCADA as well. So if you want to learn, watch my videos. I will make more videos in the future on many things. So thank you very much again.